The people of Kufa knew him for his honesty and truthfulness. He was noble, hard-working and intelligent. He was well known for his love for the Ahlul Bayt. His lifestyle was simple, reflecting Islamic values and teachings. He did not live for this world, but lived and used this world to earn his hereafter. He lived in Kufa, but wasn't like the people of Kufa. He always kept his word and never changed sides due to greed or fear of death. He spoke little, but always spoke of the family of the Holy Prophet and the true teachings of Islam. He was more concerned about his own imperfections and worked towards removing them. He knew that following the Divine Imam was the only way to perfection. His name was Junada bin Qab Ansari. He never ignored his political duties and closely followed all political events. The people of Kufa had written thousands of letters to Imam Hussein, inviting him to Kufa. The letters read, O son of the Prophet, now that Muawiyah has died, we want you to be our Imam. We want to offer our allegiance to you and will support you till the very end. Imam Hussein had sent Muslim Ibn Aqil as his representatives to Kufa. He was to inform the Imam of the situation there and seek allegiance from the people of Kufa on his behalf. Junada was very excited when he learned of Muslims' arrival. He wanted to meet him as soon as possible and assure him of his commitment to Imam Hussein. The Masjid of Kufa was crowded. Muslim was given a warm welcome. The people of Kufa were ready to offer their allegiance to Imam Hussein. They were happy that their Imam had answered their letters and was on his way. One of them said, Welcome, O Muslim, son of Aqil. Welcome to the city of the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt. Another expressed himself saying, We will not accept anyone but Hussein as our ruler and Imam. We will stand by our promise till the very end. They started offering their allegiance to Muslim, promising to support Imam Hussein. The situation looked very promising. Junada too was in the masjid. He came close to Muslim, kissed his forehead and offered his allegiance saying, By Allah, I love Imam Hussein and will prove my friendship by serving and defending him till the very end of my life. Unfortunately, it did not take long for the people of Kufa to break their promise. Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, the newly appointed ruler of Kufa, used gold and terror to turn the political scenario in Yazid's favour. Muslim was left alone. No one was ready to support him anymore. This was very disturbing for Junada. He and one of his trusted friends, Amr bin Khalid Zaydavi, secretly left Kufa to meet their Imam. After a long and tiring journey, they eventually managed to join the caravan of Imam Hussein. They greeted their Imam and informed him of the changing situation in Kufa. The caravan of Imam Hussein continued its journey till it reached the hot and dry desert of Karbala. Imam Hussein ordered his companions to camp there. Yazid bin Muawiyah continued to send reinforcements and very soon the caravan of Imam Hussein was completely surrounded by the enemy. The army began their inhumane atrocities by cutting off the water supply after taking control of the river Euphrates. They showed no sympathy towards the women and children. It was at dawn that the Battle of Karbala started on the 10th of Muharram, 61 AH. One after the other, the companions of Imam Hussein were securing perfection through martyrdom. Junada saw them leave and said to himself, By Allah, I will defend my Imam. I will keep my promise. I will show to these people of Kufa how a promise should be honoured. 
Then he came to his Imam to seek permission to fight. When the Imam saw him ready and determined, he permitted him. Bidding him farewell, he rode into the battlefield and shouted at the enemy, I am Junada, son of Haris. I stand by my promise and am not a coward. I know that I will be killed, but I will keep my promise to defend my Imam. Then he attacked the enemy with all his might. He killed as many as he could and finally collapsed on the burning desert. He breathed his last in the lap of his Imam. <laughs>